friends, I've arrived in yet another world. I've come to this place, the so-called Third Range, to be given a tour of this world by my acquaintance, Harald. Hello, Arla Saira. Are you well? I hope Jorni was easy. Yes, it was, thanks. Strangely easy, actually. Yes, Vagitwi is like that. It is only small stone tunnel cut into the side of hail, and by walking through it, you seem to turn back on your silver before again come out uh, from entrance. But while entrance, seen entrance, Anjad has the world outside. So, where are we exactly? We are in Little Valley, where three ranges of mountain meet. So, at when we have forced the English visitor, he call it the third ranger from because in his world there are only two ranges of mountain. In fact, this man his name Harold Moss, but we call him Harutamosu. And you see it my name is same. Ah, I understand. There are some who think humans in Isaya came from another world as well. That the gods brought them there. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's at some lake near Sagenheim. Is there a special significance to this place too? It is, it is. The gateway is only place we know it, where we can go to other worlds, or people from other worlds can come here. And we love host visitors, so it is mm, for us important by our culture. It is the reason I am happy by host you now. This almost looks like a ruin, but the stone cut is fairly clean still. Also, I just love mysterious places. I considered getting into ruin diving for a while, uh, so I guess. I just want to know, are there any secrets about the gateway that only the locals will know? So, only locals and you. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people know this, but by deep time, long time, long time in past, the gateway could go to many, many worlds. You can walk in circle inside hill, and if I return, you see new world. Like bones in back. Uh, spine? Aha! Gateway is spine. Different worlds are part of the same body. But happened big event. We call it Inkabunga. And then we can travel to uh, one single world. And after sometimes, we think Gateway and now can go to other places. Anyway, um and I show you house of my family. Oh yes, let's go. So, where are we now? We are in house of my family, Mantaba. Not Blaisa I am Burno, but my Mariaja family. Oh, it looks nice. Can you tell me about this room? This room it is central room. Where we cook and eat and talk and sing uh, to give her children mm, with not children. Uh, adults? Mm, adults. And when you look at left hand side, you see more houses. This is where adults live. For each adult, there is bed, and at between beds, there is screen for privacy. Oldest ones live close to central room here, youngest ones farther away, closest to central fire. You can see it through the doorway over there. And what about the children? Same thing, same thing, but on right hand side of house. And Yungas live close to Zandra from here. It is this way for the Nisi at all adults to look after babies and stay warm by inside fire. Ah, okay. So is there a strict cultural hierarchy then? 
Or is this mostly for practical purposes? Ah, before now, I never think about this. No one asked before, but I think only practical. All adults in Mandaba have equal authority for my decisions. Hmm, okay. Well, where is everyone right now? The house seems empty. Ah, because night come. Everyone gathered at Central Big Fire. Today is festival called Hkala, meaning Laita. Here, Tiekak Andal, and we could join others. Oh, it's crowded. Yes, everyone has come. Central Fire is still burning, but we put no more wood on it so that it become quiet. And we can see Star Sabur. When everyone arrives, we are silent for a few moments. And then the youngest person who has Peter will like Antala from main fire. What's a Svitru? Sv- sv- ah, mm. when we are born and after start Alka, we give a small piece of wood. We call it Skihoro. It has one stripe on it and name of child on it. When group of people make decisions, we use a piece of wood and a put it in a pot represent a choice we want. Skihoro has value one, and after child leave Mantaba, we learn a skill outside and we give one Sviduro which is a gun small piece of a wood with name of a child on it. But now carry two stripes. Svitura has value to And after the HR has out someone's gila, we give the HR Tsinuru. And this one, there is three stripes and value three. Koras, by our culture, very important, learn and each our spread knowledge. I see. This festival, Kala, celebrate spread of knowledge. Little Svitru Chalta get fire from main fire and to candle. Then put little fire and to candle of friends. And friends put little fire and to candle of over friends, and everyone has little fire and candle. During a fire go from candle to candle, everyone say nothing. Beat by beat, I love this phrase, beat by beat, English such a funny language. Beat by beat, we see light grow big. And when everyone pulled the fire, we can speak again. Then we go eat. We'll be ready. Haralta and I stayed at the festival for long into the night, until the cold really set in. The stars were melancholic, and the food was excellent. But it reminded me in many ways of home, and I miss the north a lot. Luckily, I will begin to make my way there tomorrow. But this was a wonderful final stop. Hey, special thanks to Lycan the Fictioneer. Lycan runs his own conlanging and world building channel right here on YouTube. So thank you Lycan so much again for collabing with me, a little baby YouTuber. Um, I hope that you like the art and I'd love to do more with you in the future. Uh, while the rest of you are waiting for the next video, please check out Lycan's channel, a link in the doobly-doo. Also, I just want to take a moment to be candid and say I really appreciate your support while I'm doing something a little bit unusual. I know most of the world building channels here on YouTube do more tutorial based content focused on how to draw maps or how to make certain environments realistic. And I just don't think that that's my speed as much, plus I'm just not as knowledgeable on those things outside of you know, what other people are teaching me. Like, I learn from the other world building channels on here. I don't want to just regurgitate their content. So what I've been doing, obviously, is instead making stuff 
that is truly showcasing the incredible world building that people are actually doing and I want to be able to continue to do that. So if you want to keep supporting me as I make this non-algorithm friendly, more edutainment, less educational sort of content, please give me a subscribe. But I know you're only supposed to do one action at the end of a YouTube video, but I believe in you. I believe that you're smart. So go check out Lycan and then also subscribe to me. All right, take care.